It is my new favorite untinted sunscreen. Out of these, take your guess. Which one do you think broke me out horribly? <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And it is literally like 10 p.m. right now. I usually don't film this late, but I just felt like filming a video. Y'all, a TikTok I uploaded today so far has like 2.3 million views. What? I'm kind of famous now. Also, I have uh, 56 thousand followers on TikTok as of this point, so <laughs> who would have thunk? I'll play that viral TikTok here. You good? Are you gay? Mama, if Wasn't that fun. What I'm going to be doing today is sharing everything that I've hauled in the month of April, I do monthly hauls with like just everything that I brought into my life, including purchased and PR and all that. This is April of 2021, and I don't know if it's just me, but this month felt like so long. I'm literally choking. This month felt so long. I, like I'm looking at some of this stuff and I cannot believe that I got them this say, very same month that it is currently. How I'm going about this video is I'm going to show you like by order, like Sephora, Ulta, Elf, that kind of thing, and then um, share PR stuff at the end. First thing I want to show you is my little Sephora order. Now, I know I told y'all I was not going to buy anything from the sale, but the thing I bought, I actually bought two things. Um, I think y'all will forgive me. So firstly, I have the Paula's Choice Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid SPF 50. I am so happy I bought this. This is original price $33 for two ounces, and it is it is my new favorite untinted sunscreen. It's a fully chemical sunscreen, so your skin needs to be able to tolerate chemical sunscreens, but look at how it comes out. Look at how thin. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with that. Look at it. And then another thing I really like is the packaging. It's not just a gaping hole. You have to squeeze for the sunscreen to come out, which just avoids a whole ton of mess. And then it just, oh my gosh. And it feels like a light lotion. I'm seriously obsessed with this. So I did say this is my favorite untinted sunscreen now. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> my favorite untinted sunscreen for the longest time was the Dermatology Broad Spectrum 44 or 45 sunscreen. That one is a mixed, um, a mixed formula with 12% zinc oxide and 7.5% octinoxate. This one, oh my gosh. Oh, but this one feels just, mm, I love it. I love it so much. I definitely want to repurchase this. And I probably will buy it one of these days to gift to my sister too, so she wears sunscreen a little more regularly. And then the other thing I got was this Sephora Favorites Hello Beauty Gems bag. And this was just too good of a value for me to pass up. It was only, it was original price $10 and it includes so much, so much value for that. And of course with the discount I got it for $8.50. It includes these 15% off coupons for anything that was included in this bag. And let me show you the main reason why I purchased this. This includes a half ounce size of the Clinique Moisture Surge 100 hour auto replenishing hydrator. It's just this like gel cream. Mia from Mia's Virtual Vanity raves about this all the time and I just really wanted to try it. It's a gel moisturizer but the real test of a gel moisturizer, those of y'all who know, know, is how it feels after five minutes. Because sure, every gel moisturizer feels great when you put it on and then like five minutes later, it's as if you put nothing on your face. But this one actually retains moisture. So I have really been enjoying this more than I thought I would. Um, it's a little concerning because I don't want to repurchase this, but we'll see. <laughs> it's not all that expensive to begin with. There is another moisturizer in here. It's the 10 milliliters or 0.33 fluid ounces of the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm. It's another gel moisturizer. This is one that I've used several of in the past. Just beautiful light blue color. I haven't used any of this one quite yet because I'm working through the Clinique one. But I really do enjoy that. Um, but I don't think it's particularly worth the price tag. It's pretty expensive. It's $38 for 1.7 ounces. And I think that um, gel moisturizers are not hard to come by. There is also three other items in this bag. There's the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara, which admittedly is not my favorite mascara formula. I find the Kush one like smudges on me very badly. So uh, I will probably throw this in a giveaway that will be coming very soon. It will be coming soon. And uh, because I feel like this would work on someone who just doesn't have 
as oily a face as I do or like maybe doesn't sweat as much as I do. So that's gonna go into my giveaway. Briogeo Don't Despair Deep Conditioning Mask. This is definitely something I can use. I just haven't used it yet. And I also have this little travel size of the uh, NARS Orgasm Blush. So let me show it to y'all. I haven't opened it because I already own this blush actually. It's depotted in um, one of my magnetic face palettes. I'm not gonna show this blush to you. You already know what it looks like if you're at this point in, in makeup YouTube. I'm actually going to also throw this to go into that future giveaway um, that will be coming in probably two weeks or so. So those are the things that I got from Sephora. Exciting. It, doesn't it feel good when you like love the things you bought with your own money? It's a good feeling. I always chase after it. Okay, next, um, at the beginning of this month was Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. And again, I said that I probably wasn't gonna buy anything. Lo and behold, I bought a single thing. I bought one thing. And it is this. It's the Zitstika Go-Getter Spot Clarifying Patches. Some of the ingredient callouts are niacinamide, ascorbic acid, salicylic acid, and tea tree oil. So these are essentially hydrocolloid patches and they have a few extra ingredients. And I came into this with the impression that hydrocolloid patches are hydrocolloid patches. And that's true if that's all they are marketed to be, but these work so well. Like what? They suck out the pus faster than any other hydrocolloid patch I've used. I was not expecting that to happen. So again, I'm probably not gonna hold it. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna repurchase this at full price, but if it ever goes on um, 50% off again at Ulta, I am gonna be buying more of these. That was pretty good. All right, next thing here is the Purple Trend Mood Box. This one was the collaboration they did with First Aid Beauty and it included a lot of stuff. Again, I'm not gonna be keeping all of this. Keep your eye out in the next couple of weeks, um, but I will show you what I am keeping. Yeah, so this box was only $39 and it included a lot. So there's actually one thing I have been using. So First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. Um, this is like an AHA toning pad. And I have actually used up like a little uh, 30 count of this in the past and I thought it was like, okay. Um, but I keep on seeing YouTubers talk about how much this helped their skin. I've seen Andrea Montalano say that it's significantly decreased texture on her skin. I've seen Sarah Rose say it's like one of the only things that have helped her with her skin texture. And I'm like, hmm, hmm, I'm gonna have to try that one again. So I am keeping this one. I think, it, I think they work. I mean, they do their job. The next product I'm gonna be keeping is the Ultra Repair Firming Collagen Cream the full size of it. And this one, I'm undecided yet whether I'll give it to my mom, you know, because I feel like she could benefit from this kind of cream more than I could. And another thing I have is the Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration. This is the six ounce size, which is pretty significant. And I personally don't use this on my face. Um, if I do use this kind of calming lotion on my face, it's something like the Aveeno Oat Calm and Restore line, or even like Cetaphil, just the basic Cetaphil body and face lotion. I find that has been working really well for me lately. Uh, but this is really nice for my husband though, because he has drier skin than I do. So I haven't cracked into it because we're still finishing off a couple of CeraVe um, creams. And then once we finish that, I'll open this. So he needs it on his dry, dry body. And then two more items that I'm not gonna be keeping. So you know what's gonna happen with them. This is the First Day Beauty Pure Skin Facial Cleanser and the KP, the Keratosis Pilaris Bump Eraser Body Scrub. So um, this is like an AHA body scrub. This is a face cleanser. I just have a lot of cleanser right now. Like that will last me at least another year. So I don't need to have a brand new full size one. And I don't struggle with KP. So I think this could benefit someone else. That was a lot for $39, that was a good deal. Okay, next thing. Oh, 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 I have a Yes Style order. Okay, so let me pull out everything from there. I had a few things that I loved and a few things that um, were horrible for my skin, so. It, it was only one thing. So let me first start out with just showing you what I got. I have the Purito Deep Sea Cream and the Cosrx Overnight Spa Mask, the rice mask and a couple of toners. So I have the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Toner and the Dear Claire Supple Preparation Unscented Toner. Okay, so out of these, take your guess. Which one do you think broke me out horribly? Which one, which one? Do, 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 do. Ooh, can I sing that? Well, fret not, I'll tell you the answer now. I bet you did not expect that one. So this is the Purito Deep Sea Water Cream and I used a lot of this. Like I really wanted this to work for me. Oh, it has it has a very like, it's a gel cream texture, but it feels more rich, like on the rich end of being a gel cream. It has just one ingredient. Ugh, 
I don't have the ingredients list in front of me right now, dang it. On the Cause DNA acne scores, it had a score of three, which is a little bit high, but I thought maybe it'd be okay. But I, I used this for weeks, you could see. And um, I was breaking out for weeks and then I stopped it and then I stopped breaking out. Bummer. I'm gonna give this for sure to my mom because my mom doesn't have oily skin. I was so lucky to in inherit that from my dad. So um, she will be able to get good use out of this. It's not gonna break her out. The next item I have is the Ultimate Nourishing Rice Mask from CauseRx. And this, I bet some of y'all thought that this might've broken me out because it's like a, a richer moisturizer. I use this at night as just a night moisturizer, but it's so good like what the heck this does not break me out at all none of the ingredients give me problems and i i really enjoy it as a nighttime moisturizer it feels it makes my skin feel really soft in the morning not like exfoliated soft but like like you used a good cream soft you know love that definitely going to be using this up next for the two toners okay so i definitely didn't need both of these toners they're essentially both hydrating toners. The only reason I got this uh, Haruharu Wonder Black Rice Toner is because I've seen so many skincare YouTubers talk about Haruharu as a, bland, as a brand, not a bland, but might as well be. <laughs> I don't dislike it. I just don't know what it's doing for my skin. And it definitely, it definitely smells like lavender. This is scented. So sometimes I have a problem with fragrance, like my skin will get really irritated. Um, this one has not irritated my skin, but I, don't think it's done a lot for it either. And I'm sure this is something that I need to use repeatedly. And the big thing with this is that it has a fermented black rice, better absorption and all that. Um, I don't know, but if I just wanted a hydrating toner, which essentially this is what it's doing, maybe a little bit of skin softening, I would have just, I, I would just buy this one again, the Dear Claire Supple Preparation Unscented Toner. This Dear Claire Supple Preparation Unscented Toner, I was expecting it to be like water, but it's actually like, man, you can't even tell in the, in the thing but this is more viscous than the Haruharu one is so interesting if I were to repurchase two things from this little four item haul it would be um these two yes this one obviously didn't work for me because as much as I didn't want to accept it it was breaking me out and um, this one is okay but it is kind of fragranced which is a little iffy for me and my sensitive skin I've come to accept I have sensitive skin those are the, all the four like skincare beauty items I ordered, but I actually have a couple other things that I'm wearing on my very body right now. So first is this kind of like really cool holographic purple blue mesh top. Ooh, I love it. I'll link this down below. I know it's not like a makeup or skincare thing. Um, so some of y'all may not be interested, but I look, I look fine. I look fire today. I'm really feeling myself. And then this little bralette, you know, crop top thing that I'm wearing underneath was actually like, it's, they called it a sponsored product from YesStyle because I'm a YesStyle influencer. I'm not getting paid to talk about it, but they still call it sponsored. But they wanted me to review it and it's really cheap. Like original price, it is under $5. I'm going to lift up my shirt a little bit so I can show you the crop top. Don't demonetize me, YouTube. Um, but yeah, here's what it looks like. It has a really pretty, you know, lace detailing, but there are things that are like slightly wrong with it, right? Because this is centered and it should be centered with this flower, I'm guessing. I don't really know for sure, but it's not, you know, you see that? And then there are some padding cups in here and you can like kind of see the outline of those pads. All right, so I talked about Sephora, Ulta, Trend Mood, and Yes Style. My last multi-item haul is from e.l.f. Yes, for the first time in forever, I placed an e.l.f. order. I know. I got a lot of this for like really cheap. I'm talking cheap, cheap. I'm gonna tell you how much I got each of these for. I bought all this stuff when e.l.f. was having like like a big sale on their website. So the sheer slick lipstick was not on sale. Um, so I actually bought this full price. It is what I'm wearing on my lips, that really rusty like orange color. Super balmy, really, really nourishing. I really like this a lot, like a lot, a lot. Like I'm definitely gonna use this up. So would recommend that one. Next I have the Ride or Die Lip Balm. It also was not on sale. So I bought this full price, $5, which is still super cheap. And this is my second flavor of this. This is grapefruit, but I have Tough Cookie. I've used up over half of Tough Cookie and I literally cannot find it now. So I think I lost it, but I really, really enjoy this formula. So I wanted to get another one of these. Next for the things that were like super cheap, I have this workout ready lip and cheek palette that in my invoice is $3.20. I think originally this is $6 maybe. <laughs> 
these precision airbrush stipple brushes I got because Samantha Ravendahl. So Samantha said that this is like the absolute best brush for cream bronzer. So <laughs> had to take her at her word. And each of these were only $4. And normally they're $10. So I did buy two just because I know I, I don't wash my brushes as regularly as I could. And instead I just cope by buying more brushes. And the last item is the Wow Brow, which is normally $4, but rung up is $1.60 because there was the 60% off sale. So all in all, we love that. We love that for her. Uh, what did I not give a review on? Oh, this e.l.f. Wow Brow. It is all I'm wearing on my brows today. Like I'm not wearing any pencil or any other wax or anything. And I did put this in my eyebrows 10 at 12 hours ago. So <laughs> whatever's, whatever's clinging to my face is just this product. And I've really been liking it. It's more pigmented than I thought it would be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I like it a lot. Like, a lot. Like, I would recommend it. And this palette, I did use these three colors. I haven't tapped into the last one yet. And they are balmy. They are creamy, creamy. It feels like straight up lip balm. Like, like if you have a tub of lip balm, that's how the texture of this feels. So I'll have to test it out a little bit more. I only used it for today, but I think I look I think I look pretty good. So I'm not mad at it, especially getting it for $3 and what was it, 60 cents? Okay, so I have a singular makeup or skincare item left that I purchased and then a couple jewelry pieces. So one thing I purchased is the Coco Kind Daily SPF 32. So this is a 21% zinc oxide. I like it. At first I didn't, um, I really didn't because it, is super dewy, like the finish it leaves is very shiny. And then also I kind of felt like it had a white cast, which is surprising to me because this was so hyped up. Um, I, I would not say that this is my favorite all zinc sunscreen, but my other like options are high end. So this is my favorite like affordable one, but not as good as say like this Biosense one, which I'm gonna talk about later. So I may not purchase this like in the future once I use it up, because I for sure am gonna be using this up. It's not unpleasant to use, it's pretty pleasant, but I have a lot of sunscreen, okay? I'm, I'm really picky about my sunscreen. It's pretty lightweight and thin, which y'all know is my type when I'm talking about sunscreens, but it, it takes a little bit to rub in because it is zinc, I just dropped it. And then it's like a little bit, you know, that, that really glossy finish, which is not my favorite a lot of the time. In terms of white cast, what I have found has helped me with that is just applying in two layers as opposed to like one thick pasty layer like I normally do. So yeah, that's my review of the Coco Kind. Um, let me know if any of y'all have used that sunscreen. Lastly, for purchasing, I just have a couple of earrings. So one of them I'm wearing now. It has these little citrine stones and a little fairy wing charm at the bottom, cute, love that. And they're a little asymmetrical, which is super trendy nowadays. And I actually did get another variation of these fairy wing earrings in green. So that's cute, yes. Each of these were only uh, $10, which is so cheap and they're handmade. They're from my girl, shopbeautybyjasmineyin.com will be linked down in the box. And I do have a code for 10% off that I don't make any money from. Okay, next on to some PR stuff. First PR thing, another like item that I cannot believe I have received in April. April feels like it's been two months long, y'all. And also I'm sweating if y'all are seeing that. So um, I have this Alter Ego Luster Palette. I made a whole video with this, so I'm not gonna talk about it a lot here. Um, the TLDW, the Too Long Didn't Watch of that video is that the formula is nice. Okay, it's pretty, it works well. It is a little bit spectacular, but not quite $22 worth, you know? I'm still a little like, because I really like this palette, like I truly do, but like would I pay $22 for it is something I'm still a little bit iffy on. Okay, next I have a few things that were sent to me through Octoly. I have three to be exact. So first I have sent to me from Biosense their large sheer mineral daily SPF 30 facial sunscreen. This is one that I um, love. I really enjoy this one and I used up you know, a whole like deluxe size 0.67 ounces of this right before they sent it. So this is just a nice refill because I was considering buying this one. Again, let me put it on the other hand. Um, it does have like a little bit of a shiny finish, but not one that is like obnoxious to me. You know, I, I feel like it's less 
shiny than it, the Coco Kind one. And this I can truly completely skip my moisturizer step in the morning if I use this as my sunscreen, at least my layer one of sunscreen. I've already talked about how much I like this. I included it as one of my only four skincare items I would recommend from Sephora back when I made my Sephora recommendations video. So moving on to the next item I have, this is the Tani Moly Moisture Boost Cooling Marine Concentrate Serum. And you can find this at Ulta. It's $24, I believe, which I thought was a little steep, you know, $24 for a hyaluronic acid serum. And then I got it and I held it in my hands and I was like, this is a lot. It comes with 2.7 fluid ounces. So if you're doing ounce by ounce, that comes out to less than, it's like $9 something for one ounce of serum. And so really that's a super reasonable price. I saw in a recent Ulta like promotion, they had 40% off Tony Moly, bringing this price down like a lot. And so if, if that was the case, I would definitely recommend this product if you could get it at 40% off because that is a really good price. That's, that's like $6 per ounce. This serum has a little bit of like a milky texture, which I don't have, or I don't see a lot in hyaluronic acid serums. So there's that texture. Oh my gosh, it really is cooling. And um, like, oh, it just feels really good. So this is the best feeling hyaluronic acid serum that I've used. The only other ones I've tried are the Ordinary one, which sticky. And then I've also tried the Pharmacy Hyaluronic Acid, the new one, and that one, it smells kind of rank to me, so uh, neither of those are very enjoyable for me to use. Personally, for hyaluronic acid, I find myself reaching for toners more, so it's still a little questionable, like, would I purchase this again? Because I would probably buy the Dear Claire's toner over the Tony Moly serum. Okay, last thing I got in Octoly is another scent of the Fresh Lip Balm. So recently they sent me the, the lychee and the passion fruit flavors, scents, whatever. And um, those were two out of the three new scents. So they also went ahead and sent me the mango. Thank you very much. And huh, those of us who love mango, like we love mango. Oh, I like this. I really do. But if I were to advise for just like among the three new scents, which one is worth trying? I would actually say that um, I like the lychee more than the mango, which is shocking to me, but it's true. Wow, that's everything. And again, it's a good feeling sitting like at this point of the month, looking back on everything that I've tested this month. And I truly, I'm looking at it. I liked all of it, except for, you know, this thing that gave me some issues, but otherwise like, it's pretty good. I'm happy. This is how I want to feel. Let me know what your favorite new thing is in your life. And other than that, I don't really have a question prompt for y'all. I just hope you enjoyed watching this video and thank you for spending your time with me today. You could have been doing anything in the whole world and you decided to watch my video. So I really appreciate you. Remember that y'all are my treasure. <laughs> Find the beauty in every day, but most importantly, be kind to yourselves. I will see you in my next video. Bye.